if you were not using this attribution software to scale your Shopify store, then you definitely need to start. What's going on guys, it's Spencer here. I am the founder and CEO of EZA Media, a full service e-commerce marketing agency based here in Vancouver, Canada. And today I want to talk about the brand new attribution model from Triple Whale Analytics. Now, if you don't know what Triple Whale Analytics is, you might be living under a rock. Triple Whale Analytics is by far the most advanced tool for e-commerce businesses when it comes to scaling your store and doing so profitably. We use Triple Whale Analytics for about 90% of our clients clients at the agency and the reason why we do so is because it is an absolute game changer in regards to knowing what is going on inside of your business and what you can do to actually improve but instead of talking about all the amazing things that triple well offers like post purchase surveys and profit tracking and multiple attribution windows and so much more all i want to focus on today is their brand new attribution model called total impact so total impact attribution what is it well according to triple whale it is an ai powered model that uses a blend of first and zero party data to give you the best insights of what is actually contributing to your overall store revenue. Now, when it comes to attribution, there can be a lot of issues. We've seen Facebook severely underreport. We've seen Google severely overreport. And in some cases, we've seen Facebook dramatically overreport and Google underreport, although that's pretty rare because Google loves its attribution. Hence the name Total Impact. What it's essentially telling you in layman terms is the impact that your ads or that certain platforms are actually having on your business. So what I wanna to do today is jump into Triple Whale and give you a live example of what the total impact attribution window looks like alongside all of their other attribution platforms so you can scale your e-commerce brand confidently. So as you can see, we are now loaded up inside of Triple Whale Analytics and we're looking at one of our clients over the last 30 days who's obviously having a pretty good month. Um, despite the ad spend that we're spending on here. But if we take a look at the overall pixel results from Triple Whale, we can get an idea of what each platform is reporting and what the actual total conversion value is. So if we look at Google and Facebook, we can see that we have a 14.27 actual return on ad spend reported by Google and inside of Triple Whale Attribution plus views, which is essentially Triple Whale's attribution model. They use UTM data, they use post-purchase survey data. And then obviously this includes Facebook views so for a lot of people that are wondering why facebook is taking attribution for clicks that they can't see it's probably view through attribution as long as you're using that model inside of or that window inside of facebook but as you can see a 13.47 extra return on ad spend on facebook a 14.27 on google and then if we check triple well triple well actually had a little bit more at a 16.91 and facebook at a 13.54 now this was the window that we were using for our clients at the agency but as you're about to see when I switch over to the new attribution model, things are going to change quite a bit. Now, if we take a look at the total impact attribution model, now I know for some agencies, they're obviously going to want to look at what Facebook and Google and what triple attribution is reporting. But for us, because we obviously are focused on our clients and just whatever drives the most amount of revenue, you can see that the actual return on ad spend is a lot less, almost 50% less. Now you can see the Google ads are actually only at a 6.01 extra return on ad spend and Facebook is at a 7.02. Now what's very interesting about this and the reason why this is happening is because a lot of times with these ad platforms, they'll take attribution for a sale that really doesn't have that much of an impact. For example, Google branded search. A lot of people are going to just search for you naturally. And just because they click the URL at the top that says your company's name, Google is going to take attribution for that. But at the end of the day, that's probably not the reason why they purchased. Basically with this total attribution or this total impact attribution window, what it's doing is it's going to actually aggregate everything based on what has the, the highest impact and what actually is responsible for that sale. And you'll notice inside of here that there are 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.1, 0 0.4 of a purchase. And the reason why that is, is because this takes into consideration all of the sources that you have. So organic and social, Clavio, Google, Facebook, Postscript, TikTok. And it basically looks at all of those um, reporting through all, all of that data. And it is able to then splice up each and every single purchase 
evenly for each platform, which is giving you the best insight on what you should actually scale. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull up another account so we can take a look there as well. So here's another one of our clients. And again, looking at the data, the triple attribution plus views, we're at a 3.23, oh, look at that, actually, mono e mono, 3.23 on Google, 3.23 on Facebook. As you can see, triple attribution has got a 3.32 and on Facebook a 3.08. But here's what's really, really incredible is if we actually take a look again at the total impact model, you can see Facebook shoots up to a 3.7 and Google drops all the way down to a 1.42. Now, again, you're probably wondering, how is this possible? How is that happening? It's because this platform is actually looking at what is driving the revenue. And again, for most businesses that we work with, that's what we're focused on is driving sales and driving revenue. So rather than dumping more money into branded search because of what Google is reporting, what you should be doing as it's showing you here through the total impact attribution model is to be putting more into Facebook to acquire new customers. Now, if you are curious about learning more about what the total impact attribution model really, really does on a deeper level, obviously there's people that can explain it better than me, but again, why it's important what I want to basically end this video off with is that this is what is responsible for driving your sales. So if you're looking to grow your sales, you need to be using an attribution model that is giving you data on what is actually responsible for getting that person to purchase, okay? Now, a lot of agencies and a lot of people that I've been talking to will say that after using the total impact attribution window, whether it improves performance or whether it decreases your, your performance, it fuels a lot more like what you would expect. And so that's exactly that, you know, that hunch, that gut feeling that people tell you to trust is definitely spot on with this. One thing I want to mention before I end the video is that you do definitely need to still pay attention to what Facebook is reporting and what Google is reporting, because at the end of the day, that is what the data that the platform has is what it's going to continue to optimize around. But in regards to your overall strategy of what platforms you should be pushing and what is having a big impact on your sales, we definitely are using total impact to know where to put more budget, how to grow revenue more profitably, and how to get more customers. So that's it for today. Again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click like, you subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you want some more information. Also, if you are interested in trying Triple Whale, our agency actually has a 15% off discount code that you can use at checkout. If you really break it down, depending on your store's revenue, Triple Well can cost as little as 10 to $15 a day. And if you consider what that does for your ad spend and based on how much you're currently spending, that's actually a fantastic deal for all of the information that it provides. And last but not least, if you are a multiple six or seven figure Shopify brand looking to take your sales to the next level, I want to encourage you to book a time with my team down below to see if we can provide some value to your business and set up Triple Well for you as well. Thank you again for taking time to watch this video and have a fantastic rest of your day.